This is about the monochrome picture tube. Here is a diagram, a schematic diagram of a monochrome picture tube. The picture tube is a special form of a cathode ray tube, the face plate of which serves as a screen of the television receiver. The various parts of the monochrome picture tube is depicted here. The cathode ray tube CRT is housed as a bell shaped glass exposure. A filament heats a cathode that emits electron. The negatively charged electrons are attracted and accelerated by positive bias voltage. The electron gun also focuses the electrons into a narrow beam. There is a control grid. This control grid is made negative with respect to the cathode and controls the intensity of the electron beam and brightens of the spot it makes. The beam is accelerated towards the screen by a very high voltage applied to an internal metallic coating that is called as aqua dag. Aqua dag. The face or front of the picture tube is coated internally with a phosphor that glows and produces white light when it is struck by the electron beam. Around the neck of the picture tube is a structure of magnetic coils called the deflecting yoke. The horizontal and vertical current linear sawtooth waves generated by the sweep and synchronizing circuit are called as yoke coils. This produces the magnetic field inside the tube that influences the position of the electron beam. These two decides the position of the electron beam. This is how the yoke is. When the electron flows, a magnetic field is produced around the conductor through which the electron flow, the current flows. In a CRT, the electron beam is moved or deflected by the magnetic field produced by the deflection coils in the yoke. Here is the coil. Thus, the electron beam is swept across the face of the picture tube. As the beam is uh, being swept across the face of the tube to trace out the scene, the intensity of the electron beam is varied by the luminance or Y signal. The Y signal is applied to the cathode and in some case or to the control grid. The control grid is an element in the electron gun that is negatively biased with respect to the cathode. By varying the grid voltage, the beam can be made weaker or stronger that by varying the intensity of the light spot produced by the beam when it strikes the phosphor. Any shade of grey from white to black can be reproduced. 